Hillary Clinton is in the final stretch of her own VP deliberations. Two national newspapers ran beep stake story this, this morning. Washington Post reporting that there are two contenders at the very top of Clinton's shortlist, Secretary of Agriculture and former Iowa Governor Tom Vilsack and former Virginia Governor and current Virginia Senator Tim Kaine. The New York Times reported that Clinton is emphasizing foreign policy and national security experience in her decision calculus, which may put retired four-star Navy Admiral James Stavridis in the mix as well. Clinton hasn't made any decisions yet, obviously, and there are still other names being floated and considered. But Mark, if it is down to Kane and Bill Sack, who are the two consistent names between both the Post and the Times, and I think consistent in some bar reporting too, which one is the best choice for her just on the politics, just on the politics? Doesn't matter. Right. No, neither of them is going to have a huge political upside. They both will make the base happy. Right. They both have some sort of centrist appeal. They're both good campaigners. They're both decent fundraisers. I, I think that, that Hillary Clinton is, is running a paradigmatic search. She's looking for someone who's qualified to be president, who she'd like to govern with, and who will do no harm politically. And as best I can tell, neither of those guys, their name dimes worth the difference between them in terms of all the things that matter. I think she, she'd be best picking the one who she'd be happiest announcing. I mean, people say that Kane has the national security experience because of the fact that he's on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. I think um, when, we, may, we may be in agreement when, that that is, not, that is not actual. When Tom Vilsack was commander in chief of the Iowa National, <laughs> National Guard, Guard, there was not a Equal. single incursion right. Right. over the border with Minnesota right. or Wisconsin. Yeah, I know. We're saying the same great. thing. Yeah. We're saying the same thing. It's they are, they are both two, you know, Vilsack's a little further to the left, but he's not like some big hero of the left. Uh, Kane's a little more in the middle. There might be some Sanders voters who are upset. Donald Trump, by making the choice he made in, t in, in, in t picking Pence, gave Hillary Clinton a big wide latitude here because if he picked Chris, if he picked Christie or picked Gingrich, you'd have two guys who could be pyrotechnic on a debate stage, right? And she'd have to think about, who am I going to have to go up against those guys in the daily news cycle and on that debate stage? With Pence, he's fine, but he's not going to like be a monster on the debate stage. She can go with solid kind of white bread and pick one of those two guys. It takes a lot of pressure off her. I'm interested in the optics of how they do this, the timing. Do they do it Friday? Do they do it Saturday? Leak it Friday? Step on the convention, whatever. That's going to be an interesting thing to watch.